Hello everyone, this is Addy from IFM Australia and in today's video I'm going to demonstrate how to set up a simple UDP communication between two IFM devices running Codices 3.5. Alright, so once you have opened the project, the first step is right click on application, add object and create a network variable list sender. Now the name, we define it as M30711. Let's go to one. The network type we define it as UDP. You click on settings and we define the broadcast address. A quick note here uh, the broadcast address basically, if your controller is set up as 192.168.82.247 and your other controller is defined as 192.168.82.246 you just define the broadcast address as 192.168.82.255 the last value has to be 255 because that acts like a broadcast so any UDP device you connect can then read from this list which is obviously running Codices 3.5 also the port number we keep it the same we don't change anything click OK once that's done, just say add. Now we first create a dummy variable here. So once you've defined your variables under this list, then the next step is right click on the list, click on properties, then go to the tab link to file. This is important because now this creates like a GVL file which we will later link to the receive list. Now click on the option here and then just define this as and save and please make sure that export before compile is selected. Then apply and OK and then the next step is you need to now build this project. Okay, so once you see there's no errors and it successfully build a project now. Now we'll go to the other controller and define a network variable list receiver. So we right click on application, add object, network variable list receiver, we'll define a name. You will notice that I have tried to keep the same name throughout the project for the sender list to the receiver list just so that there's no confusion. All right. With the task, you can uh, attach it to the task by default. Sender, you keep it the same. Now we select import from file and now we link it to the file that we created and click open and say add. And now you can see in the receive list straight away we get the variable that we had defined on the sender list. Okay, so that is one way set up. Now we will set up a sender list from this controller to the other one. So now we right click on application, add object, we say network variable list sender, and again the same steps. Network type is UDP settings. In this case also we define the same broadcast address and say OK. But the difference would be we define a different list identifier. So this time we define it as 10. And once that's done just click on add. Then again once again we define a variable in this section. Alright, so once you have defined the variables in this list, you right click on the list and select properties. Then go to link to file. And again, we create a GVL file. Say save. And please make sure export before compile is selected. Apply and OK. And as we did before, we just build this project and there's no errors, so that's all good. So now we create a receive list on the other controller. So we right click on application, 
add object and we say network variable list to receiver and here we define the name So once again, I've kept the name the same throughout uh, the receiver and send list. Now we select import from file and this time we select this file and click on add. And as you can see now we have the, the list populated here. So as you can see, it's a really simple way to establish UDP communication. And if you follow the steps uh, as shown in this video, there should be no problem. I hope this video was useful and thank you very much for watching. Cheers. IFM, close to you.